Hi, it's Tim at the Canton Clay Works. We're continuing with our advanced beginner demonstrations. What you just saw previously was a dinner plate. Now what I want to do is make a pie plate for you. Very similar hand positions and I will repeat them. So here we go. I'm using about six pounds of clay right now. And the only reason I'm using that much clay is that, you know, I really like pie. And I like a big pie. And I pretty much uh, believe in the deep dish pie plate versus the shallow. So that's my dietary input for the day, is the more fruit and goodies the pie holds, the happier I am. Honing up. Coning down. Take stripping the clay off the wheel head that's flattened out on the wheel head. That's good. Coning down some more. Now we can afford to cone down flatter because we're not pulling vertically. We're actually going to be pulling horizontally. Cosmetic centering. This is a good start. You see how wide and thick our base is? Terrific. Now we're going to open this. This is the new hand position. We're going to take the right fist with a sponge in the right fist, creating a slight crater on the inside of this foundation clay. And if you notice, as I open my crater, this gets thicker. So we pull the right hand out towards us at 6 o'clock. And as we do that, I wrap the left thumb here around the exterior wall at 6 o'clock, compressing the clay back in. So as I pull this clay out, I'm pulling it out against the left thumb that is compressing the side wall back in. This is what allows us to get the clay on center. You see that? So now we're just going to open it some more. In fact, I don't think I'm going to open this foundation anymore because it's a pie plate. So now I'm just going to use my fingertips, pull the clay open, and as I do this, this rim is going to form, and these fingers are going to compress that rim downward as I open the form. Looks like the bottom's a little thick, so I'm going to do that motion again. And as I create a ridge here, I just compress that ridge back down with my left index finger and middle finger preventing air and water from getting trapped as it comes into the side wall. I'm going to widen it slightly. This is good. Okay, now we're going to compress the bottom with our rib tool. So I'm going to use the same rib tool I've been using. Compress the interior bottom from the center point to the inside wall at 3 o'clock. Being a wide open piece, it's really important to spend some time compressing this bottom. One of the other tricks I want to tell you, if you're making plates in flat bottom serving vessels, wire them regularly. I'll wire them off today. I'll probably wire them off again tonight. And then for the next couple days, I want to wire them once a day, which allows the bottom not to stick to the bat and the moist clay on the bat and allows the bottom to shrink. If you don't do this, you're not allowing the bottom to shrink and it can stick, which will encourage cracks on the bottom. So now I'm pulling the side wall up with my fingertips, just like I did with the plate. That's a big side wall. That's what makes a deep dish pie. So you can see some idiosyncrasies on the interior wall from the wet clay I pulled into that side wall. So what I'm going to do is a, use a flexi rib, which is going to trim some of those softer deposits of clay off that interior wall. Do you see how that came off? Now what we're going to do, I like to use a throwing stick. This is a throwing stick. And before I do the throwing stick, I want to wire the bottom. Just like the plate, I wire it before I rib it out. Now, 
my hand position for the throwing stick. I support the rim on the outside at 6 o'clock with the left index finger, just like that. Left thumb goes up in the air. The throwing stick goes off of the left thumb. And I just rib down the side wall like that with the throwing stick to create the shape of the interior wall of the pie plate. Then I use, again, you see me in the past talk about the really expensive tools that we acquire. And here's one of the most expensive, most effective, and it is the soup spoon with the handle cut off. Plastic, disposable. Now I'm going to make the little flange where we pinch our pastry in the pie plate. I support the rim, it's a little dry, support the rim after I lubricate it from the outside, just like I did with a throwing stick, and take my little soup spoon and press down against that finger that is pulling the clay slightly upward. If you don't have this finger moving upward slightly, you collapse the rim downward. So this motion is up slightly while I'm compressing down with the soup spoon, just creating that little change in surface tension in plane from here to here. That is where we pinch our crust together on our pie plate. Mm. All the time I make pots, I think about food. Can't you tell? Thanks again for joining us at the Canton Clay Works.